when it comes to treatment, there are three aspects to treatment for gastroesophageal reflux disease. There's the dietary and the lifestyle uh, modifications, there's the medical treatment and there's the surgical treatment. Generally speaking, patients who are obese, patients who are on a very high fat diet, uh, patients who have the habit of eating full stomach, particularly before going to bed, are patients who are uh, and, and patients who drink excessive alcohol are the ones who have an increased problem with uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease. And therefore, uh, needless to say, um, you got to uh, keep your weight uh, to the optimum, uh, have a healthy diet, uh, stop drinking alcohol, and also develop the habit of uh, having your last meal of the day at least a couple of hours before you retire to bed. Um, regular exercise uh, definitely helps and in addition to that if you've got uh, reflux problems interfering with the uh, quality of your uh, sleep, quality of your sleep or if you have to, if it makes you wake up in the middle of the night, uh, then it is recommended that uh, you have the upper part of your body uh, inclined at about say 30 degrees or so, so that uh, the gravity aids in the uh, descent of the fluid that's refluxed back into the foot pipe. So these are all uh, some of the things that you can do to uh, bring your reflux symptoms down. Uh, in addition to that, there are medications that are available. Your doctor will be able to prescribe them for you. There's the um, uh, medications that fall in the category of uh, H2 blockers, you know, there's things like ranitidine and famotidine and so on. And then the other uh, generation medications, which are the proton pump inhibitors like omeprazole and lansoprazole. So your clinician will be able to uh, guide you as to uh, which medication would be appropriate for you and uh, how long you have to take and so on. Uh, most of the uh, patients with GERD, they have their symptoms kept under control with adequate dietary modification, lifestyle modification and medications. However, um, if patients' symptoms persist despite maximal medical therapy or if the patients' uh, symptoms are controlled with medical therapy but they are young and they just don't want to uh, live a lifetime on uh, lots of medications to keep these symptoms under control or if they develop any complications related to GERD, um, it is recommended that they go for surgical treatment. Surgical treatment these days is almost all the time laparoscopic uh, surgical treatment. Uh, gone are the days when this operation was done by the open method. Uh, it's called laparoscopic anti-reflux surgery. The most common surgery that we do is a laparoscopic Nissen fundoplication. Um, it is uh, done under general anesthetic, four or five holes in the abdomen and um, uh, patients usually are in the hospital for a couple of days uh, and essentially what we do is we recreate that valve mechanism. The mechanism which was defective, we try and recreate that mechanism not by using any processes or, or anything, anything from outside, we, we recreate using the patient's own tissues. And what we do is take the upper part of the stomach and uh, create a wrap around the, uh, the place, what we call as a gastroesophageal uh, junction. And uh, by creating that wrap, uh, an immediate mechanical effect is achieved and uh, patients are uh, reflux free the day after surgery and they're usually very happy about it and the results are, uh, are excellent and the, the, the best part of it is that uh, some of these young patients, they come off their medications and they live reflux free for uh, a number of years.